What's it like to eat at the world's largest gas station? Let's find out. Check out the massive size. See how big it is. I don't know, there's at least 40 pumps there. Place is massive. It smells like ice cream cones and candied nuts. You can get a hippo taco, a breakfast taco. So, you can just walk. Thank you. You're going to slice or chop? Slice or chop? Whatever you want. I'm going Man, all this food looks so good. These gas tanks, so many of them, 104. That's insane, it's like... It's crazy. Now it's time to go eat. <laughs> Hi, Bucky. We just went into Bucky's. We got all of our food haul. Uh, now we're gonna try it. So let's go item by item, give it a try and see how it is. All right, so we have the Carolina Reaper hot sauce, fiery hot napkins. We got the hippo taco. Let's open it up and see how it is. Hot sauce ready. It has hash browns, eggs, and uh, everything, cheese, salsa. It's really, really good. All the flavors combined well, and this could go really well with some hot sauce. Mmm. I think my favorite part is the hash browns. They taste like some good homemade hash browns. We have a sliced brisket here. We also have the chopped brisket that we'll try next. Let's go ahead and give this one a try. So that one has some barbecue sauce on it. All that flavor. Mm. I love it. The bun is sweet. The sauce is also sweet. And then the meat is kind of like smoky, not too salty. Very delicious. Mm. Now, everything you said is true. Sweet, sweet. Now, the meat, is like, it almost like tears apart almost. It's like really tough. But what I like about this, it has so many fatty pieces that you really get a good amount of the brisket. I really, really like this. Yep, so here's the chopped brisket sandwich, the famous. All right, so this one I had in the video earlier, the worker was going uh, ninja style on all the pulled brisket and chopping it up and mixing it. So there it is. The hot sauce is really getting me. It is. Oh, 
the meat is so tender and sweet and the bun just soaks up all the fattiness in the barbecue it's just the perfect combination of everything it's softer has more of the sauce incorporated into it definite winner barbecue turkey sandwich all right so this one actually comes with big pieces of sliced turkey which you can take a look at there and it also has some barbecue sauce in it so let's give it a try so this one has like thanksgiving sized slices of turkey on it with some barbecue sauce just the right balance not too much sauce not too much sweetness definitely good smoked turkey love it i want this for thanksgiving now Cold mm -hmm. pork barbecue sandwich look at all that juicy Here, wait. gotta get closer to the camera and tender okay. smothered in sauce I didn't even have to use any force on that. It literally just went through like nothing. It's like, it's like so, so soft. Like I, it's just like It's like a crock pot cooked slowed pulled pork. A lot of sweetness, of course. Now the reason why we're eating in the car, Bucky's does not have any tables. So we have to basically bring it back out to the car. It's kind of a grab and go type of thing. But uh, you definitely want to Bring it back out to your car, try it while it's hot. The fried chicken sandwich. It has some pickles and some special sauce, so let's see how it goes. Get a good look at the white meat. Probably like better quality than a, uh, like a fast food fried chicken sandwich. Better piece of chicken. This is one of the best pieces of fried chicken I've ever had in a fried chicken sandwich. It's so like crispy. It's like one of the most crispiest pieces of chicken I have ever had. It's so juicy, and the second that you bit into it, I could smell the chicken. Mmm. Definitely one of my top favorites. So if you're not into red meat, go for the fried chicken sandwich. Mm. Alright, so this is a Sausage jalapeno cheese kalashi. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right, looks like it's full of some cheddar cheese hot dogs and it's got the jalapeno on top. Hmm. It's definitely not a hot dog. So much. It's a smoked sausage. It has a good amount of cheese, and the bread is like a sweet roll. I, I really, really like this. It has like pieces of jalapeno in the sausage. Mm -hmm. We've got Bucky's hot apple pie. We're going to try to keep the car clean, but it's covered with cinnamon and sugar. Mm -hmm. Give it a bite. It's like a tortilla. Show them. Right. I was totally not expecting that. I've been into it and it has like the gel, like the, like the apple pie jelly. Like that's totally the flavor I was not expecting. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Well, it's like a fried tortilla with cinnamon sugar and then it has apple pie, apple pie filling. It's great. I was 100% not expecting the filling. This is my personal favorite, maybe one of my favorite things anyway, dessert wise roasted candied cashews we're gonna try the cashew candy cashew covered in sweet goodness all right here we go ben. Oh, oh. nothing better than that mm. so good my favorite thing in the world right there it like dissolves in your mouth if you've never tried candied nuts you have to go out and find some today. They're amazing. We thought we were purchasing a banana pudding, and it's actually a coconut pie cup, which I love. It's got the graham cracker and then the coconut pudding. Of course, the Bucky's logo. It's great. Right. 
right? If you're traveling in Florida, you've got to stop by Bucky's. It's amazing. It's much more than I thought it would be. It exceeded all my expectations. All the way up to the coconut pie. Mm. Tastes so coconutty. Has a great flavor. Sweet. Wow. Very, very nice coconut flavor. You got to try it. It literally has pieces of coconut in it. Yeah. So up next, we're going to go back in. We're going to buy some more items to take home, and we'll do another food test once we get home. We just got back from Bucky's and we're gonna try the things that we brought home on carry out. We got some pickled quilled eggs. Yeah, so the pickled quail eggs, they have, they're made of quail eggs, water, vinegar, jalapeno peppers, salt, sugar, black pepper, garlic, and red pepper. So uh, let's give them a try. <laughs> Are they nasty? <laughs> <laughs> what does it taste like? That's the nastiest thing I've ever eaten. I'm having second thoughts about this. Bingo. <laughs> what do you think, man? Alright, so if you're into this kind of stuff, go to Bucky's, get some pickled quail <laughs> eggs. Otherwise, uh, it avoid it. So the next <laughs> one is Takis Fuego meat sticks and if you're into Takis, this is like a Slim Jim Takis flavor, I've never had one. Ben, how about you, have you ever had one of these? I've had a Slim Jim. Things like a glistening meat stick, looks more like a candlestick or maybe even a raisin. It's like a gut bomb. Tastes like artificial casein meat with kind of a Mom, don't spit it. Slim Jim mixed with a pickled quail egg. They're horrible. Awful. All right, guys. Sorry. If you like them, give it a try. Let us know what you think in the comments. Between the pickled quail eggs and the takis, if it doesn't give you a stomach ache. Okay, next thing. Beaver nuggets. So I've heard really good things about these. This is apparently a must get. But so is the pickled quill eggs. So it's like smack cereal. It's like a brown sugar corn nugget. Pretty good. Much needed change of pace from the pickled quill eggs and the takis. These are so good. Check out the beaver nuggets. They're awesome. Ben, any final words? Beaver nuggets, 10 out of 10. I love them. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when these videos come out. And if you want to see what we're doing on the daily, make sure to go to our Instagram account at, at Simply Schmidt. Remember it. Thank you and goodbye. Three, two, one. Bye. <laughs> what are you doing?